Hello and welcome back to Cooking by Zoe. I'm making fried pork turnovers using a modified version of my sesame ball dough recipe. I've heard from several of you that it's quite hard to find wheat starch, so I hope this recipe and tutorial will help. This recipe makes crispy and crunchy fried pork turnovers with a semi-sweet pork filling. To begin, we're going to make our dough. In a large bowl, add in one cup of dry mashed potatoes. To this, we're going to add 300 ml of warm water. This is to rehydrate our dry mashed potato flakes. To this, we're going to add in one bag of glutinous rice flour, which is 16 ounce. We're going to add one cup of rice flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one cup of sugar, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and mix these together. Add in 100 ml of coconut milk. If you do not want to add a coconut milk, you can just replace it with water. Now one cup of warm water and mix these together. We won't be able to form a dough yet. It will still be quite dry. But continue to mix. And then we're going to add in two tablespoons of lard. Mix the lard with the dough. And then you'll notice that the dough is still quite dry, so we're gonna add a little bit more water. Add anywhere from one tablespoon to three tablespoons, but add one tablespoon at a time as you may not need all three tablespoons of warm water. Continue to knead your dough until it forms a soft dough-like texture. And then set this aside. To prepare our filling, we're going to rehydrate our dry black fungus. You'll need one bag and then to this add in hot sink water and let this sit for 30 minutes so it rehydrates. Once it sits and rehydrates, this is how it'll look. Make sure to cut any of the ends, anything that's dry like this, just remove and then we're going to dice this. So slice it and then dice it and we'll need one cup or you can add more if you like. We're now ready to cook our meat. So in a large wok or pot, add in two teaspoons of vegetable oil, two clove of minced garlic. Fry this until it's just lightly golden. And then add in one and a half pounds of ground pork. To the pork, we're going to add in salt, one fourth to one half teaspoon, adjust it based on your taste. Our filling should be more of a sweet uh, filling versus a salty filling. Add in three tablespoons of oyster sauce, and then one teaspoon of five spice powder, which is optional. Add in the one cup of diced black fungus, and then to this, we're going to add some sweet soy sauce, which is one teaspoon. To this, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar. My previous recipe did not call for sugar, but this time around, I wanted my filling to be sweeter. Lastly, add in the cornstarch mixture, which is one teaspoon of cornstarch and three teaspoon of water. Mix those well together, and then turn off the heat and add in the scallion, which is optional. Our pork mixture is now ready. To form the pork turnover shape, follow what I'm showing in the video. Roll the dough and then pat it. And then using your thumbs, form indentation so you can add the filling. Add in about one tablespoon of filling, more or less. And then you want to just enclose the dough and form more of a football shape. And then place this on top of parchment paper. To fry these, heat oil at 325 degrees Fahrenheit and then add in the dough. Do not add too many at a time as they tend to stick together. Add a few, let them cook for a few seconds and then add more. Using a bamboo chopstick or tongs, occasionally make sure that you are flipping 
or moving the dough around, that way they do not stick together. Allow these to cook for a few more seconds and then add a few more pork turnovers. Continue to cook these and occasionally mixing them around that way they do not stick together and that way they cook almost evenly on both sides. These pork turnovers are almost ready. Uh, some of the sides are still not golden, so I'm just going to cook these for a few more seconds and then remove them. And now they are all cooked, so I remove them and place them on the drying rack. This is how I made these pork turnovers using my modified sesame ball recipe. Thanks for watching.